After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our homes. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow tyrants, today, the coalition of ordered governments strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike from our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my order, the COG has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any surviving locusts. For those citizens unable to evacuate to safety in time, the Coalition appreciates your sacrifice. Forgive us. This is the only way. Lieutenant Colonel Diaz, it's been too long. It's Sergeant now, Chairman. Hope this was worth dodging your hammer strikes for. Yes, well, I'm glad to see your time in the motor pool has indulged your talents. Open it. You're looking at the only known photos of a locust called Ukon, the enemy's resident geneticist, a monster who makes monsters. Corpsers, Brumachs, his work. We need him eliminated. I don't run ops anymore. Not after Gekka Ridge. Sulking won't undo the past, Diaz. You want to save lives today? Stop squandering your tactical gifts and take Ukon down before he creates something even worse. I can't offer you much. No personnel, no resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment. Soldiers. An army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Recruit whatever gears you find and figure out the rest. As for your incident in Gatka, try to do better this time. Yes. It's late. I just saw Ukon get his head blown off. And stand right back up. What else aren't you telling me? Your orders are to kill him, not write his biography. The cop put me here before. We're... We're keeping secrets got good people killed. And some secrets also keep people alive. Now do your job. I trust you have better news this time, Diaz. We had Ukon. And then your man tried to escape with him. And where is Major Redbird now? Detained. Unfortunate, but you've cornered Ukon once. You can do it again. As for Major Redburn, the penalty for treason is death. I leave the method to you. Something to report, Diaz? New Hope. Excuse me. New Hope. Sid's rambling on about it. That name 
mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. What are your current coordinates? I asked you to deal with Major Redburn. You haven't. I'm sending a raven to arrest him and bring you reinforcements. <laughs> well, it's about goddamn time. Coordinates sent. Dispatching the raven now. And yes. This has been a difficult mission. Why the hell did you tell him where we are? He's going to send some kill squad. Prescott can send whoever he wants. By the time they land on that mountaintop, we'll be gone. Oh, you're sneakier than you look. No more cock bullshit. Get everyone ready to head. Don't say I didn't warn you. Prescott thinks we're dead. Good. One less distraction while we get back to the mission. Killing Ukon. Oh, really? And how are we gonna do that? Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But all that changed after E-Day. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against Inhuman, genocidal monsters. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction. Unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's the one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit him on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. We had hoped the light mass bombing would decimate the Locust Horde. But they survived, and have returned stronger than ever. They brought with them a force that can sink entire cities. Even Jacinto, our last beacon of hope through all these dark days, is now at risk. Soon we'll have nothing left to defend. And that means we have only one option. Attack. What I ask of you now is not an easy thing, but it is necessary. If we are to survive, if we are to live long enough to see the seasons pass, our children grow and experience a time of peace that we have never known, we must now take this fight to the Locust. We will go to where they live, and where they breed, and we will destroy them! This is the day we take the battle to the heart of the enemy. This is the day that we correct the course of human history! This is the day we ensure our survival as a species! of the cog, my fellow gears, go forth and bring back the hope of humanity! Boy, I'll give him to the big sock, Sergeant Phoenix. 
You ready to hit the road? You know it. Well, let's go chunk some bullets at them grunts. Marcus, the chairman and Colonel Hoffman are here with me at control. Get here as soon as you can. You heard her. Let's move. Nice work, Phoenix. Your squad did good. What's the status? In progress. We've evacuated most of Jacinto. But we still need more time to evac gears from the Hollow. Do we have a plan to sink Jacinto? Almost. We're finalizing the logistics now. When you first sent this information, Sergeant Phoenix, I thought you were insane. I seem to have that effect on people. But it looks like your father was right all this time. Imagine that. Locust troops have breached the courtyard. We're on it. Not without me, you aren't. If this is Jacinto's last stand, I'm not sitting it out. Fair enough. Betty strolls back in here like nothing happened. Better park that nice new Raven carefully. Let's give him the traditional stranded one. Strip the chopper for parts. You think he knows that the cog fell apart after he disappeared? You think he cares? Chairman Prescott, welcome to what's left of the cog. I'll have answers for you, ladies and gentlemen. But later. I need to see Colonel Hoffman immediately. Hoffman's been gone almost as long as you have, Chairman. He's dead? He left to take a group of civilians to Anvilgate. Captain Michelson's the senior officer now. Not that we have much of a military left. I'd better talk to the gallant captain, then. I have a mission for him. Oh, and Sergeant Phoenix, you'll want to see this. This better not be a shopping list. Let's go check it out. You must take off! Why not? We'll find someone to do it! Oh, very well. Stand by. Michelson's gone. Phoenix, get down to the hangar. The helicopters are under attack. We need to get them airborne right away. Are you wounded? Yes, but then I... Then you stay here, and you don't move until we get back. Understood? I'll try not to get myself killed, Sergeant. Yeah, you do that. I'm not the conversational type. But when I get back... I want a nice, long chat. I'll come back and give you first aid as soon as we've got the choppers away, okay? We should have handcuffed him to a pipe, in case he does another disappearing act. He's not going anywhere without his chopper. Oh, thank God. Anyone got a hemostat dressing? I'm out. Dom, give me a hand. Press down here and hold it. Don't expect too much conversation. One lung's collapsed, his chest cavity's filling up. Can you hear me? I hear you, Sergeant. Where's that... chat you promised me? Where's my goddamn father? The desk! <laughs> Azora! And I'm supposed to know what that is? <laughs> no. It's a research facility. He's been working there. Queen Mira captured him days ago. God damn you, where's Azura? Marcus, come on. Encryption. <coughs> that old bastard. <laughs> He'll be. Gone. Maybe there's something else in your father's message. We've got to find a data reader. Who was he talking about? Hoffman. 
The bastard is Hoffman. Spit it out. Look, Hoffman's been hanging on to that data disk he stole from Prescott back on Vectis. All those goddamn months I spent trying to crack the encryption for him, we still didn't have a friggin' clue what was on it. Well, I bet it's the data on Asura, and that unlocks it. We have to get it to Hoffman and crack that disk. He's at Anvil Gate. That's a hell of a long journey, Marcus. I hate to interrupt people, but we got visitors! 